Yep. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Another exciting episode of Horror Research 30. Today, I have my guest, Johnny, with me. How you doing, Johnny? Good. Hello, hello YouTube with, her, or, with Sir Study. I have my own <laughs> channel called Monkey Vader. You should go check that out if you like his channel. What do you do on your channel? Well, I don't really know. I do movie reviews, book reviews, vlogs, and sometimes just random stuff. That's awesome. And karaoke. Karaoke. And also winning cosplay contests. Cosplay contests too? You do? Yep. I it, I record it whenever I win them. That's awesome. Well, so mommy what got records you in, it. I'm on stage if I win. What got you in the horror movies? Well, so one time, so it was a very very long time ago. I was like four years old. I think. We just moved to Kentucky, and so I went in my brother's room, and he was playing Five Nights at Freddy's, and I got, I was in there because I was wanting to talk to him in the middle of a jump scare, so I freaked out, and then a couple days later, I started wanting to play the game, and then, and then my, my mom told me about scary movies because they were kind of like the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I started watching those, and then I started going to conventions, and I just, and I started doing things. That's cool. I think the first movie I watched was Night of the Creeps. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. That's really cool. Instead of watching... Sleepaway Camp, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street. Actually, and then I, I watched Friday the 13th before that because I remember you showing me a video of it and I was terrified. <laughs> and then I, a couple days later, I watched Nightmare on Elm Street because I was like, mm, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. That's real cool. It's cool seeing younger children in the horror. Like, I started... Probably around five or six years old, I believe. And everybody I grew up with, we all started around like that young age. And it almost seems rare to see kids in the horror at a young age now. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like around here, you don't really see it as much. And I think it's awesome. I really do. I think it's healthy. Are you a 70s baby? 80s. Okay. I'm, I'm 76, but that's about in the... In the 80s, I, thought, I was, I was, I thought you said you were 76. I, was like, uh, I grew up, well, I was in elementary school in the 80s. And that's what like we all, it was, it was like, all was on TV. So we were all, you know, all those, all those movies that she watches now, I grew up with. Because we were all latchkey kids back then. I miss that it. means we, we wore ne our house key on our necks, on a dog chain. <laughs> so, I know if you remember I know for sure you remember video stores then oh yes that was my Friday night my dad would take me there and that's what babysat me that and USA up all night Friday yes. and Saturday night <laughs> yep. so what's your favorite scary movie only kills the people who are like mean and then, and like at the end how he's like creepily petting his de the guy's dead head that's cool yeah like I, have that name. <laughs> I don't know why i'm looking at you what movie did you say it was i didn't hear you sleepaway camp sleepaway camp oh good choice yeah. did you ever get to meet felissa rose yeah multiple times she's so freaking nice is we met her at a, um we met her a few times too but this last con we went to is when they announced did you ever see the terrifier movie yeah i i'm excited for terrifier too yeah that at that con my brother was doing a panel he was doing the terrifier panel and that's when they announced that she was going to be in it so that's pretty cool yeah and he was on the sleepaway camp panel, actually. Yeah. It's yeah. She's she's really nice though. She's really good with her fans. Mm -hmm. So happy death day! That's the movie you wanted to do with the review. Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah? What did you like about it? Hmm, that's hard. There's a bunch of stuff I liked. I really, I actually liked the, the beginning, like, where it's like just do, do, and then it cuts off, do, do, cuts off. <laughs> and then it keeps restarting because the movie's about a time lapse thing. I said time lapse. I don't know why I said time lapse. I guess I don't know. But it, because her day keeps, mm -hmm. every time she dies, the day starts again. It's that. And I like how the beginning just connects to that because it starts doing the intro, cuts off, does the intro, cuts off does the intro again. I think it does that about three times, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it was, it was different. It was kind of like, um, I don't know if you ever heard of the movie, but Groundhog's Day. I've heard of it. Mommy always calls it a groundhog thing because I've never seen it, but I've heard of it because mo Mommy al always said, calls it the ground groundhog. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that came out okay. when we were kids. Yeah. <laughs> cut off. Do, do, cut off. Uh, probably whenever she just go, goes around and like brings the pillow and then she's like, boop, and put the pillow under him because she knows she's gonna fall. It's funny. Oh, when that guy? The yeah, guy? The go the, when the guy falls, he puts the pillow so so he has a soft landing. Oh, the guy that keeps passing out at the beginning. No, she puts the pillow under him. Yeah. Under his head? Yeah. Yep, I remember that. It's funny. Yeah, I just finished watching that about an hour ago. Same. <laughs> Must have started watching it at the same time. I started watching it about nine or about, at about nine o'clock, and <laughs> it's not even nine. It hasn't passed nine o'clock in the morning. It has, but not nine o'clock at night. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why I used an accent for that. <laughs> I don't know. I use accents all the time. Did you see that movie a lot? Happy Death Day? Yeah. About like five times, I think. Okay. Today was like my second time watching it, I believe. Like, mommy just played it for a refresher because I literally knew a lot of the stuff. And actually, the second time I watched it, I thought she, I thought there was this tower I knew they they were escaping through the tower, but I that's when I thought she took off the mask and revealed who it was, but it wasn't, and I was could very confused because that's how I remembered it. It's like the movie changed, but I know it didn't. It was just my imagination. <laughs> I've been there before, thinking something else happened. Yeah, the second one was really good. Actually, the beginning was actually like it of the second one. Well, the second one took place I know. right where the first one. Yes, right where the first one ended and the second one did. And actually, the second one's beginning is, no, it starts off the do, do, and then it starts dividing into all these like different columns. And so what you hear it multiple times, at the same time, it's weird. No, yeah, the second wow. time. I'm talking about the very, 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 very beginning. That it's the the Earth spins around and it says universe or what Universal Studios. Oh, are you talking about like the intro to the movie? Itself? Yes. Were you surprised who the killer was in the first one? What? Were you surprised with the killer in the first one, who she was? Yeah, I was really surprised. I was like, 
What? Yeah. And then the second one, I was even more surprised because I was like, what? <laughs> it made no sense, but it also did. You know, makes no sense, but then it comes together. Yep, that's the great thing about horror movies. Yep. They find a way to come together. How long have you been doing your YouTube channel? Like, I've started since I was six, and I am eight now, so about two years, two and a half years, I think. I've done it for a while. That's cool. And I have 100 and... Yeah, 166 subscribers. That's awesome. That's really cool. Do you record a lot? <laughs> I don't think I have recorded in like a week or two. You have a lot of fun doing it though, right? Yep. That's the All best part. fun. That's good. That's really cool. That's like the most important part is having fun with it. So, so you know the parts where, where Rob Mello is in? Yeah. Well, actually, I'm I'm gonna be in this movie called The Embalmers, and I I'm in this, like all the scenes I'm in. He's in the scenes with me. That's really cool. And so he's like my co-star. I, I play a pretty I play him like a pretty major part though, because because I have a lot of lines. That's awesome. Yeah. When do you get to do that? Uh, like about September. They're actually filming the trailer right now. Oh, you guys are going to have to send me the trailer when it comes out. Okay. That's really cool. And the the Indiegogo goes live March 13th. So it's... It's on Friday the 13th. Even better. Yep. Friday the 13th, March 13th. Is this going to be your first time being in a movie? No. No? I, I, I have filmed, I have filmed for something who kind, I think. Yeah, and, um, and Innocent Inquiries. Yeah, and I, and actually, in, in Innocent Inquiries, so my director of the embalmers, Rebecca Re- Reinhardt, which we all call her Becca. Mm-hmm. So if you hear me calling her Becca, that's what we call Rebecca Reinhardt. And her sister, Diane Franker, is, is directing the embalmers. And she actually played my mom in, in Innocent Inquiries. That's awesome. And then I'm also in another movie called Parallels, which, which the de- director is Daniel Goad. And it's pretty nice. Do there's, you actually, there's actually going to be little Easter eggs in, each, in both the movies I'm in. <laughs> cool. So I'm not going to surprise, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Oh, please don't. Do you, do you get nervous when you act? No. No? That's good. You just have a lot of fun with it then, right? Yep. How did you get into it? Uh, so it all started with my mom took me to see a play. And then, and then my mom saw Annie and she wanted me to try out for it. So I did, and I got the part of Kate. Then I, I, I thought it was really fun, and so I decided to do another play, Mary Poppins. And then I thought it was really fun, so I did a bit of theater camp, and then I did another play, Nuncrackers. And I, did, and I really liked all the, the things, and I decided to start filming, except I decided before Nuncrackers that I wanted to be an actress, but... I've been going to Days of the Dead for about a year consistently, 
And I've been doing in, independent film stuff, so it's kind of gotten me work, more where I want to do more of it. Actually, recently at Days of the Dead, I did a script reading panel, and I won. That's cool. I won 100 bucks. That's awesome. And I put it all in my savings account for college. That's very, very, very smart. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you ever going to be a, um, a celebrity at these cons? Yes. Signing autographs? Actually, I already have my own celebrity tip table at Night Risers Con in October. Really? Congratulations. That's really cool. Thank you. It's in Elib El 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 Elizabeth Town in Kentucky. I can't say anything right now. <laughs> That's real cool. That's real cool. Thank you. It's fun, too. I mean, I've done it as far as being a podcaster, and it's just fun being in that atmosphere and all those horror yeah. fans. Yeah, it is. I I really I really like being in the film community and I'm happy to see one of my favorite characters from Happy Death Day is I'm gonna be filming with. Oh um Rob, right? Yeah. See that's cool. What's what's that guy's name what's the guy's name in the movie, isn't it? I Josh, can't remember it. Is it Josh Thompson? I think. I think. Maybe it's John Thompson. Or, there you go, John. Yeah, John Thompson. I thought it was like John Treason. <laughs> John Treason? Yeah. That's real cool, though. You should be proud of yourself for doing all that stuff. Thank you. I suppose you said you're eight? Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's real cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that what you want to be when you grow up? Like an, an actress? Mm -hmm. John Toombs. Say it again. The the guy's name is John Toombs. My mom just looked okay. it up on IMDb, I think. Well, we got the first name right. <laughs> yeah. At least we got the first name right. Do you want to just do horror movies or would you do like any type? Mainly I like focusing on horror movies. But every once in a while, I might do a non-horror movie, like comedy or an action or adventure. What about like a horror comedy? Do you like those? Oh, yeah. Those, those are my favorite types. Really? Yeah. Honestly, I kind of feel like Happy Death Day was more of a horror comedy. It was more comedy than horror. It's kind, it was kind of scary, but there was no like gore. So... If I had a gore meter right here, which I usually do on my movie reviews, it wouldn't be filled because there there's no gore in it at all. I agree with that. Did you see um what's the movie called? The uh, Countdown. Oh yes, that was good. I just seen that the other day. That was a that was a really good fun movie. Yeah. And there was some gore, some gore. Yeah. I think I might have done a review on Countdown. My mom's going to go see if I did a movie review on Countdown. That's cool. That's cool. It's just, I can't get over how cool it is, like, somebody your age really into horror like this, and you have good knowledge about it. Thank you. How are your friends at school? Are they into these movies, too? Nope. <laughs> too scared? I don't know. You don't know? Do you scare your friends at all? No. No? Why not? That's like the best thing to do. Just jump It'd out. Be mean and I'd probably get in trouble. No, you don't got to be mean about it. You know, you have them come over your house, hang out, and you just pop out of nowhere and scare them. They'd probably freak out and, and they wouldn't want to see me ever again. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, has do you know if Antlers have has come out yet? What movie? Antlers. Oh wait, it hasn't come out, but I'm excited to see the movie. Have you seen the trailer for Antlers? No, I haven't, but I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, it's it looks pretty good. It looks like it has some nice score. I mean, in the trailer, it probably is like 
a full gore meter because in the trailer it even has gore. And usually in trailers, there's no gore in trailers. Yeah, I know. I love gore. Gore horror movies. My favorites are the slasher types. Ooh. Well, my favorites are probably the, the movie, like the spirit movies where there's a spirit. Mm-hmm. But my favorite movie my favorite movie is actually one of the slashers, which is pretty good. And the reason, like, I, I like spirit movies best is because I, I watched these Indonesian horror movies, and it was, it was, there was the third eye, the third eye two, the doll, the doll two, Sabrina. Those freaks me out for days. I loved it. That's so, that's real cool. Except yeah. for the third eyes, I think I wasn't that scared of the third eye. They, it, it was, it, it, I can't explain it because it's too good to explain. And <laughs> it's, it's like kind of complicated unless you watch the movie. Plus, plus the, you, if you watch it, it's, there's like, I don't think there's a dubbed version of it that's American. There might not be, but there is English subtitles. So I like reading movies, but, though I recently watched a movie that was Japanese, I think, and I had to have it dubbed because I was reading movies all week long. <laughs> Nino Kumi. That was, we didn't watch it dubbed. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. I know. But I know. It was still good, though. Yeah. Did you see Train to Busan? What? Your audio cut out. Did you see um, Train to Busan? Ooh, that was so good. She hasn't yeah. seen it yet. Actually, I've seen parts of it when Daddy watched it. Oh, yeah. Daddy, you were the slower, fast zombie. Fast zombie. I think you would like that one. That one was good. Cinderella. No. Oh, oh yeah, I I loved that movie. Can you hear me? A little. Have you seen I See the Devil? I see the um. I don't think I've seen that one. It's pretty good. It's really good. And it's Ten, I think. Oh, a year before I was born. Yeah. If I was born then, I'd be nine now. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been doing this for? The podcast, um, January 1st, that just passed two years. No, I meant this. What? This this podcast thing. Yeah, two years. Oh, how long have we been doing this episode? I'm not even sure. Yes, we haven't been doing this for two years straight. Otherwise, (laughs) I'd be starving. I'd be super tired. (laughs) Yeah, I don't don't know. I don't see a time thing on here. (laughs) I was a little confused. I hope we haven't done it for two years. We haven't been sitting here for two years straight. I mean, That'd be pretty impressive. I, yeah, it would. We'd be in the Guinness Book of World War, World Rec, Rec, Records, and our computer would say 22922. And I miss all my filming dates. <laughs> and the embalmers wouldn't come out until t- two. 2023 instead of 2021. That'd be bad. (laughs) 
or they could just fire me. No, they won't do but that. They wouldn't do that. They would just wait two years. Did they you would watch probably the, just wait two years. Did you watch the Child's Play movie that came out, I think, last year? No. I didn't watch I didn't it. Because, it. I didn't watch it because I, I didn't really like the, the Child's Play that came out. I liked the rest of the other movies, though. It wasn't bad. Yeah, but not the Child's Play one. I hated that one. But I didn't watch the new Child's Play because I thought it was just going to be like just like that and boring. Yeah, but the fir very first one. The remake wasn't really, it was pretty good. Yeah, we should watch it. And it's a lot more I, up to I date. Said, I said I didn't want you to take me to the movie. No, I didn't. You're remembering wrong. <laughs> you might like it. I think I might. Yeah. What's it about? I'm trying to think of how to explain it without spoiling it for you. Pretty much the doll can take care, can control devices like your phones and stuff. Yeah. And it's what, like, I don't want to spoil it. You should definitely see it, though. Okay. But it's more up to date. The only thing that's the same about this one is the little boy's name, Andy, and the doll's name, Chucky. Everything else is different. Oh, <laughs> Wait, the doll doesn't even look the same? No, he looks different. He couldn't, though, because of, like, legal issues. So they had to change a lot of stuff up. Why? Why did they have to change the doll's look? It works, though. For Like, when you watch the movie, it really works for the look. That, that, there's some good gore in it, too, that you would enjoy. Yay. Like, in one of the movies, when he cut... One of one of the guys' eyeballs out and stepped on it. That was good. The bride one? Was it the bride one? I think so. <laughs> Isn't that the one where he cuts the eyeball out? Uh, yeah, it is. And they and then they turned into humans in it. Didn't they? Didn't in the the brides want the one where Chucky had the bride? Didn't they turn into humans too? I don't remember. I know his wife was a human for a while, and then she ended up turning into the doll. Oh. But I haven't seen it in a long time. How did he turn her into a doll? <laughs> so she in the bride of Oh, and then she can change back and forth between mm -hmm. them. No, 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 no. Yeah, she could. I remember that. <laughs> I think the cult of Chucky is what you might be thinking of, where you can change bodies. The, the girl. You're thinking wrong. No. Wait, what was the one where 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 um he was talking? Chucky, Chucky was talking to that that little girl. Yeah, that was a girl, not what a. I think it's Chucky. <laughs> Do you collect horror things, like figures and stuff? Yeah. Yeah? 
Just look mm -hmm. at our library. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I I do too. It gets it gets expensive. Oh, and Rebecca, Rebecca, she also does in her in her videos. The Mike of Madness, or that she um has all that she sits in and discusses stuff. Yeah, not. Not quite final girl. Yeah. <laughs> and you just are sitting there doing nothing. Me? Yeah. I'm listening to you. I have a friend's podcast that you can get on. I'll send your mom the email, but it's called... Um, Sinister Parlor podcast. It's not out yet. She's starting to like record a lot to get a lot of things before she puts it out. But I know she would love to have you on as a guest. Okay. Because you also, do some awesome I, stuff. I like your blue background. It's pretty. The green screen. Pearly. Yeah, it's pearly and pretty. Thank you. It's gonna look different when the video comes out. Though. I'm gonna have something back here. Whoa. Is it gonna look green? Nope. Now when now when the video actually comes out, when I put it out on YouTube, I'm gonna edit it, and this is gonna be different right here. What's it gonna look like? I don't know yet. Wait, I'm what if it? What if it? What if it was literally your face? <laughs> I'm not above. <laughs> I'm not above doing something like that. But it might be a little bit of um, Happy Death Day and a couple other horror-related things. Yeah. Also, speak, speaking of Blum, Blumhouse Productions, since Happy Death Day was from it, I actually sent an email, like five, seven emails, and one, a couple of letters, I think, to the addresses so for asking if i could view one of their horror movies that's cool did they respond to you yet what did no. they respond yet no. keep blowing their email up read, read what you wrote. mommy's getting the letter so i can read the xerox copy it's a xerox copy okay it says dear black house productions i would love to be in one of your horror movies here is some stuff you should know about me before you respond. I am eight. My birthday is August 18th. I was born in 2011. I have grayish blue eyes. I am a girl. My name is pronounced Johnny. I have done and have many films coming up. I am not cute. Sincerely, Johnny Shandor, a.k.a. <laughs> Monkey Vader. That's awesome. Thanks. Monkey Vader, where'd you get that nickname from? Hey, well... My parents always call me Monkey, and then at the time I liked Star Wars. So my dad helped me come up with the name, and we called it Monkey Vader. That works. Mm -hmm. And I see it's your YouTube channel name, which is smart. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Facebook group page? What? Do you have a Facebook group? Uh, no. Like a fan page? Mm-mm. I have a Facebook and I have an Instagram. Oh, that's cool too. Is your My Instagram, Instagram is Monkey Vader, but it's spelled M O N K I V A D E R. You should go check it out. That's awesome. That's smart. I post funny pictures. You should just see one of my latest pictures. It's like hilarious. <laughs> Literally, if you. Look at it. You will laugh so hard that you poop your pants. Oh, I don't know if I want to laugh that hard. <laughs> I'm just exaggerating. <laughs> I know. But it's so funny. I almost did myself when I laughed at it. But then, look at me. Because I didn't have to go to the bathroom. Do you know what you're going to do for your next YouTube video? Uh, I don't know. You don't know yet? Nope. 
I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> My next one is going to be, um, I'm going to review the uh, Candyman trailer. I got to watch it a few more times first. Hey, you know, you know what you should mail me? Mail you? Yeah. What? Zombie Skittles. I want to try Skittles? I would if I can find them in stores. Where, I think where, so did you get the zombie Skittles from the Nightmare Store? No, my wife got them. I don't know where she got them from. Maybe like Walmart or something around Halloween. Oh. Well, wait for Halloween, then make your mom or your <laughs> who? Your wife? Your wife? And then make her mail it to me because I want to try them. Now, which what color was it that tasted like that tasted like zombie flesh? Well, I guess I would say that because it's not like sour cream and ice cream. Like. It was random. I don't remember which color it was. I think it was like different colors. Really? Yeah. Did you try that tasted like it? All of them. I just I would just grab a handful and eat them, and you eventually taste it. But like I said, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I usually don't enjoy Skittles, but they those sound good. <laughs> I I just I I just stopped eating the Skittles because they didn't taste that good. Yeah. Not big on candy. Not really. All I really eat is, um, which it's it's a bacon, choc chocolate and chip potato chip bar, and I call it a, a pink chocolate chip bar. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty interesting. It it's really good. Like so so you got your potato chips, which don't taste anything at all. Makes a crunch, which I love. Then you got your bacon and the chocolate. They, the flavors separate, so the flavors don't mix, and it doesn't taste like, ew, it tastes great. It's weird. And I think it's, I think it's called Hamilton. Uh, yeah. Hold on, let me show it. Yep. It's, it's this. Hammonds? Yep. Pigs. That sounds interesting. It's it's really good. You should really try it. Yeah. Oh, we've been doing this for a while. Yeah, about I think about a, a little over a half hour now. I think. I think we've been doing it for like forty five minutes. No. Uh -huh. Maybe thirty five. I don't know. <laughs> We've done it for a while. Yo. So what would you give for a movie rating for um Happy Death Day out of a, between a one and a ten? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten? Yeah. The Nothing. reason it's it's not a ten out of ten is because there's there's no gore. I would have rated it a ten. Actually it's more of an eight out of ten. Two for no gore. Like if it was just a little bit of ten of gore, then I would have rated it nine out of ten. But it, but I, so it's an eight out of ten because there's not much gore. That's a good reason. I'm gonna give it a seven for the same reasons because I, I I love gore. Yeah. It was a fun movie though, and I feel for somebody who's not really into horror or just getting into it, it's a good movie to start out with. Yeah. And we're just sitting here in silence awkwardly. You want to say anything else about your YouTube channel? Yes. It's awesome. Oh. It's all, I see. I like that. It's awesome. I'm also trying to get 200 subscribers. Once I get 200 subscribers, I'm giving an uh, an I'm a, I'm get, I'm doing a giveaway. There's there's three places. Three. Mm -hmm. So first place gets to two it's to choose between two autographs. Felissa oh, Rose's autograph or um, Amelia Kincaid from, from, and they get to choose between those two autographs. And then 
first place gets to choose which one they want. One, the sec second place gets to choose, doesn't get to choose, and gets the one that's left. Third place gets a t-shirt from iHeartRadio, I think. That's cool. Yeah. Do you have a link set up for that? Uh, oh yeah. I know it's www.youtube.com slash C slash Monkey Vader. Awesome. Capital I'll make sure M that in a bunch of horror groups. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's capital or not. M O N K E I. And then it's like, that's what I said. Oops. I didn't mean to say I. I meant to Y. So, how you would normally spell monkey. And then A D E R Vader. Monkey Vader. That's cool. That's real cool. I'm going to share your YouTube channel and a bunch of horror groups that I'm in, including Yay! mine. Also, remember to subscribe. Definitely. I'm already subscribed. Oh. Yay. <laughs> That's cool, Wanna though. Can you see my happy dance? Yeah, go ahead. That's my happy dance. You have a lot of energy. I wish I had that energy. I have so much energy. That my mind will explode. <laughs> Mommy needs Death Wish coffee to keep up with me. Death Wish coffee? My wife loves that stuff. <laughs> you know what? War it says on the package. Warning. World's strongest coffee. <laughs> Every time we go to horror conventions, my wife will grab a few bags of that. You, do you go to Days of the Dead? Do you go to Days of the Dead? Huh? Do you go to Days of the Dead? Do I go to it? Yeah. What's that? It's a, it's a horror convention. No, I've never been to that one. There's a, they're, they're in Atlanta, Indiana, Charlotte, North Carolina, and Chicago. And Louisville sometimes. I think they stopped doing it. No, I haven't and been Las to Vegas. And Las Vegas? Yep. I'm all the way in New York, so I haven't been to those. I've been to one called Scarecon a few times, Monster Mania. Actually, those are the main two. And then at the end of the, in September, I'm flying out to Colorado where my brother lives, and they're having a con out there. I forgot what it's called, but it's like the first one, first horror con out there. When I get famous, I'm going to all the New Jersey ones. I don't know why my head just popped up on screen. <laughs> when you get famous? Yep. Uh, Monster Mania is a really good con. It's really big. There's a lot of people there. That's one of those things you want to stay for the full weekend. Okay. But I met a lot of cool people there. Okay. Did you get to meet any of the Jasons? Yeah. Actually, I'm 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 best friends with CJ Graham. That's cool. He's awesome. Yeah. Is he your favorite Jason? Probably. Yeah. Yes, he is my favorite Jason. I also know Kane. Kane, that's my favorite right there. Kane Hodder. And I met Steve before he passed away. Yeah, I met him. I actually met him at Monster Mania a few years ago. Oh. Me either. Do you, did you watch the Never Hike Alone movie? No. Have I? No. That's a good one. It's a in the, it's an indie movie. It's on YouTube actually. Yeah. With um Vincent DeSanta, he plays Jason. Hey, I'm gonna show you oh, the cutest thing name. ever. This. <laughs> Just Your kidding. Mouse? That's not cute. But meows, me actual mouses are cute. Mice, I mean. Mouses. Made me. This is my logo for my podcast. 
That is awesome. Did he make it with a 3D printer? No, he made this. He did this by hand. Wow. He does like sculptures and stuff. 3D printer running. And and one day he just sent it out to me. He asked me for my address and sent it to me, and that's what it was. Wow. This whole video, I've had a piece of lime stuck in my teeth. A piece of lime? Oh. I forgot you said you like those. What's the next horror movie you're going to watch? I don't know. You don't know? Nope. Uh, oh, Brahms the Boy 2. I want to see that. You guys are going to see that today? Today? No. <laughs> no? Next week or the week after. Okay, cool. That's cool. Thank you for coming on my show, by the way. You're welcome. You have Thank to come on again sometime. Me. Anytime. Okay. Um, I just realized today is the last day of February. It is. A leap year at that. Leap so year. I think this is the second time in my life of a leap year. This is yeah, the second time years. in my life of leap year. Every, yeah. You're every right. Every four years. And I'm eight. <laughs> I guess we can get it wrapped up. Um, if you want to plug your channel one more time, you can. My channel is awesome. It's called Monkey Beater. Go subscribe to it right now, everybody. <laughs> Go check our channel out, everybody. And thank you again for coming on. We'll definitely do this again. And I'll email you my friend's podcast so you can get in contact with her. Yay. So you can get on there, too. Thank you, thank you for having us. Oh, anytime. <laughs> I love her energy. She hit her, she hit her limit. <laughs> <laughs> keep up that energy, though. It's awesome. It's real good. And keep watching a bunch of awesome horror movies. You guys have a good night, though. Or a good rest of the day, I mean. I don't know why I'm saying night. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.